Hey everybody, Ash here with more Star Trek Online, and I need to head back to the s solar system. So, let's transwarp there, shall we? <coughs> Alright, here's our destination. Now let's head in, because... I need to go pick up the ambassador. Alright. We are back in the space dock. And now the wow, the yeah, game's lagging a little bit here. I'm not sure what it is, it's just lagging a little bit. So, let's head this way. And, nope. Not. Here we are. Excuse me. Uh, there we go. We need to talk to this guy. Peace and long. Hold on a second. There we go. Peace and long life to you, Lieutenant. I have been tasked with returning several of our sacred arf artifacts to the monastery at Pajim. Admiral Quinn informs me that your ship is avail to available to assist me. There have been several reports of Klingon raids in the area around the monastery. It is imperative that these items are returned safely. I trust that you and your crew are up to the task. The people of Vulcan thank you for your aid in this matter. I can depart as soon as you are prepared. Right. So now we need to beam out. I gotta see something about getting rid of that armor because I... Well, not getting rid of the armor, but just making it look like I'm not wearing any because it's actually kind of annoying. And now... We need to warp out. Alright. Check the map here. The Pajim system. That's where we need to be. So yeah. Star Cruiser, I think, and there's another one. Whoops. Yeah, I wish the camera would focus on the later missions. But you'll see that you'll see that uh, when I get to the later missions. Hold on a second, I need to check something. There we go. All my, all my uh, crew members are now on my away team. <coughs> Alright. Let's make this my primary deal so I can keep an eye on it. Of course, it's the only mission up here, so I probably don't have to worry about that. And enter the uh, Pajim system. All right, it's taking a little bit, taking a little while to load. Hopefully, out oh, there it goes. Hopefully, I'm glad to see it wasn't going to time out on me there. It's done that a couple times. All right, Captain, we are being held by the Klingons. Putting them on screen now. You have a foul shape changer hiding on your ship. You Federation simpletons may be fooled, but the Klingon Empire is not. Turn the ambassador over, or we will destroy your ship. Shape changer? What do you mean? Right? That foul beast on your ship is an undyne. They put on a false face and try to control us, but the Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs dies screaming. Okay, what do we know about the Undyne? The Undyne come from a dimension known as fluidic space. They use quantum singularities to move into ours. Undyne are telepathic and physically superior to humans. They see anyone from our dimension as inferior life form, even Klingons. Soon, they will see how wrong they will know how wrong they are. All right? Undyne have the technology to be a real threat to anyone, even the Borg. 
but the worst of their weapons is their ability to take our forms. Lieutenant, the Undyne have inserted themselves into every major power in the quadrant, and seek to control us through trickery and misdirection. You must be vigi vigilant. Why are the Undyne here? You tell me, Starfleet. It was your people who first encountered the Undyne in the Delta Quadrant, back when we knew them as Species 8472. Many among our people want to know just what you did to make them hate us so. Actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we got them under control, or Voyager got them under control, but now they, for some reason, came to the Alpha, Alpha Quadrant just to spread their shenanigans. Alright. Care to repeat your threat, Captain? Alright. You have... Oh. Oh, never mind. That was the uh, same deal he actually did. Anyways, yeah, we gotta go... We gotta go take on this Klingons. Actually, there's a deal over here. We're gonna take this guy out first. And, of course, in typical Klingon... Typical Klingon uh, fashion, they uh, have cloaked ships hanging about. Of course, even at even when they uh, match your level, these Klingon birds of prey aren't really that much of a problem. As you can tell, they are easily destroyed. And as you can probably tell, these cruisers, while they are decent ships, they turn really bad. Okay, that's another Klingon bird of prey destroyed. So let's turn around and take care of this one. And I think I was a little too close to that uh, bird of prey when it exploded. It damaged my sh damaged my shields a little bit, but not too badly. Right. Yeah, cruisers. Cruisers. Well, they are good ships. They turn bad, or they turn really slow. Tekion beam and uh, Tekion beam and a uh, yeah torpedo. Uh, what is that again called? Torpedo spread. All right, getting a little more power to the for forward shield there, and you exploded. Yeah, Klingons, Klingons, they tend to make threats, and well, they just can't keep their promise, <laughs> or they can't back the threat up. And that's another destroyed Klingon bird of prey, so let's take this one out here. Right, just a bit more. Just a bit more. Boom. And yeah, he's a... Uh, some Klingons they are. Alright, what you have to say? Sir, sensors are showing multiple Klingon life signs on the surface. The monks may be in danger. I recommend that we send an away team down immediately. Alright, Captain, the situation on the ground may be too dangerous for the ambassador to beam down with you. He will remain in his quarters until it's safe for him to transport. And of course, now it's time to beam down. We have my we have our other crew members and we have a security officer. So yeah, let's just beam down to the planet, shall we? Alright. Captain, we will need to secure the area and make our way towards the monastery, which is located at the top of the hill. And our Alright, I'm reading multiple Klingon patrols between us and the main building, sir. sir. Recommend we proceed with caution. Alright, let me check my map here. And this circle is where we need to be. 
yeah, as you can tell, the red dots are enemies, and there's a lot of enemies here. Anyways, I gotta end the video here, so when we come back, more of this.